Day six, let's get started. Okay, so let's see how I did. Uh, oh, see, I went down. Great. I know it's probably a lot of spelling mistakes. For her name, I just skipped it. Co Coco, Coco, Sha, Andy. <sighs> see, like some of these are just, you know, spelling mistakes. That's just a part. Oh, instead of a. Uh, so which one did I put in first? <laughs> okay, yeah. So, all of these for the most part. Okay, this one I just kind of guessed. <laughs> that one, the last time I guessed. Oh, I had that. I thought it was cat. But I was having a de debate. Like, is it really that easy that it really is cat? Something that's that simple that, you know, saw in the name. And that's something you have to kind of figure out, you know, kind of go with your gut instinct that if you feel something's right, you should probably leave it. Even if you got it wrong, at least you went off, you know, your gut instincts over time, it's going to get better and better and better, your instinct is. And so, for some of these, I missed sum up, okay, last name, oh no, Zova, okay, his first name, wait, so I got that boy's name right. So it was these two people that, um... The spelling right here, Desai, his was the same way. I thought one that was opposite, and like in the beginning, you s <laughs> I was struggling trying to write, write his last name. I was like, I'm not sure which one it is. Um, but right, oh, the Z and the K. So for the most part, let's see. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So ten. 
So I could have got it 45, which I would only need one more to actually go to the next level. So I could have got 45, but I missed up on spelling. And that's just the point that kills me. Like, because I'm not used to these foreign names, so when I'm going through, I have to pay attention to them. But I'm trying to go quickly so I can review them all. I think, I'm not even sure if I got a full review. Maybe I was on the last person, because the last person I remember before I actually jumped to recall was, um, what's his name? Luming Wang. Him. So I'm not, I'm not sure if he was the last one, or maybe like there was two more after him. But that's the thing I'm trying, trying to do. I can't focus all my time trying to figure out how to spell a name because when I do that, I might miss 10, 10 other names. And so I have to try to figure out, okay, what <laughs> I guess I'm trying to figure out for the most part is how I should be going through the names. Should I, you know, take my you know, take more time and maybe try to go for less names, but since I have more time to look at them, I could maybe spell them more correctly or should I just keep going quickly so eventually my brains will catch up? But this is something that's a little bit different uh, because the spelling, like this name, I had this, I had it right the first time I wrote it down. But I was like, maybe it was the O because I thought of the Mu, Mushu, but I thought of Mushu because of the U as well. And so, um, like this, um, I'm not sure if, if I've seen this name in the previous trials I've done. And so something like that, it's really hard to kind of get used to. Because I'm not familiar with any of these names and the spelling of these names, you know, I probably don't see on a daily basis. But if I do something like random words, I do see, you know, a lot of those words or I at least know what they are or how to pronounce them. So it makes it a lot easier for me to actually memorize them. But these, you know, I might not ever see this again. And you would think that since I messed up on them, that kind of makes an imprint, which it does. But uh, who knows, you know, it could be like two weeks before I see this last name again, right? This one. I skipped completely. I I learned from my other trial. I think it was yesterday that uh, if there's a long name, forget it. I'm just gonna skip it. I'm not ever going to like try to debate if I should memorize it or not. And that's what I did. I looked at the first name. I was like, hey, got it. Look, like I just glanced at it. Uh-uh. Move on to the next one. So um, I went down by three names, I believe. But I could have had ten more names if I didn't miss up the spelling. And that's what makes me very upset is the spelling. Oh, because if I could like, if I could figure out how to spell these names better, my score could probably improve by five plus names, give or take, um, for each trial, you know, just because I've messed up on spelling a lot. So if I could figure out that problem, I think I could be a lot better at this event. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you're picking up useful, you know, tips here and there when you watch the series. So wish me luck because I'm going to need it for the next, I guess, uh, what was it 22 days. <laughs> so I'll see you next time. Subscribe to my channel for more videos on memory techniques, how to do better in school, memory challenges, updates, and much more. Also remember to click the notification bell so you know when I upload a video. You can follow me on Facebook and Twitter. The links are down below in the description. You also can check out these videos. If you want to learn all the memory techniques and learn how to apply them to all sorts of information, or if you want to start competing in memory competitions, you can check out my programs down below in the description. Look forward to my next video and get ready to get the best memory of your life.